Hello, this is Ken Gascard, and I'm going to show you how to make database queries. A database wouldn't be of much use if you couldn't make queries. By queries we mean its ability to glean information based upon questions that you address to the database. DB2000 has a built-in query generator and it's accessed under the reports menu. I will open it. Query roster. Now, this dialog might be called queries for dummies because what we have done here is to generate a query generator that requires no user knowledge of the computing language which is used to make queries. This language, which is called SQL or Structured Query Language, is not that hard to learn, but most users of DB2000 have no knowledge of it. So this dialog has a lot of checkboxes on it, and you may find things by clicking on the checkboxes. For example, if you wanted to list members in your squadron that have the rank of lieutenant, you could click lieutenant and find and you'll see that we have 11 lieutenants listed in our squadron and they are probably the chairman of various committees. Here is the list that the query generated and here is the query itself and it's as you can see it's not too difficult it says select the asterisk here means everything from the uh, database fields which contain the data and so on. So this is a an SQL statement. You may reset this to back to zero or back to nothing and uh, select something else. For instance, supposing you would like to know how many members have the grade of seaman and also own a boat. You can check on these boxes in any sequence you like and it will build an appropriate query on the selection that you make. When you've made your selection click find and you can see that we have five members that have the seamanship grade and also own boats. In the listing we also put in the boat name. You can query all kinds of data in this manner and um, perhaps so we will reset and perhaps you'd like to find out who has birthdays this month. That might be useful for your newsletter or something to sort of send birthday cards. Who knows? So you can see that you can build a query on many many different topics using this dialog and that this can be very useful for reports or for any other reason that you need it. Now, although many fairly complex and useful queries can be generated by just using combinations of these checkboxes, it may sometimes be necessary to use other features of the query generator. Let's just reset. And now let's consider the possibility that your SEO may be seeking students for a proposed seamanship course. He may also consider that long-time members that have never taken a seamanship course are most unlikely to ever do so, so he might just want to eliminate those right from the beginning. To make such a query, we begin by checking the no boxes in the advanced grades area of the... Now we need to find out how we can uh, eliminate the... Uh, older members or more senior members as you might say. We have to go to the area of the query generator called define other criteria and here we add a logical operator which in this case is AND and we find the field name for the certificate date. We go down here we whoops, sorry. there it is certificate date next we need to add a comparison operator Comparison operators are mathematical 
less than, less than, equal, greater than, greater than or equal, equal, not equal, is null, which means there is nothing at all in the field, is not null, means there is something in the field, and like and not like use uh, search uh, criteria like asterisks and things to substitute for characters. In our case, we just need a greater than comparison operator. Now, this little message up here tells us that the field that we select is, is an eight character field. And in DB2000, so that dates can be sorted properly, they are always put in year, month, day order. So let's put in our year, we'll say 2005 0101. And then we add the query, add this to our query. Now let's select find. And we find that we have six records that meet this criteria. Not a big class, but still may be worthwhile. Now we will want to do something with the information. So the best thing to do probably at this stage would be to clear all of the tags that are in the database, and then add these records to the tags, and then we can close the query generator. You can use the tags now to send email, or you could use them to make mailing labels. And um, if you would uh, see my demo movie on user fields, this will give you uh, the way that that is done.